All right, we have a full warehouse full of batteries. It's time to make another video. Okay, as you know, we have the JP3 cells uh, for sale on our website. These are power pouch cells. They can do 500 amp uh, bursts, right? And I think like 200, 250 amp continuous. So these are power cells. Uh, these can also be fine in other places on the internet, but without all this extra stuff. The shrink tube is rubber stuff to keep these tabs, to be able to use these tabs better, right? This is the difference between ours and the other ones that are out there. But along with these, what we have in stock is four other pieces that make help you make those into a, uh, a battery module, a battery pack. And it's the holder. This holder is made to hold this cell in here, right? And then we have a separator that has foam and two uh, sides of cork. And these are glued together. And then we also have this for cooling. This is a, uh, a, I don't know what I would call this material, but it's, uh, it's for heat transfer. So you would put this on the cell here, and then this side right here would touch a chill plate, and then it would wick away the heat from the cell into the chill plate. And you can tell this is thermal material because it's very, very cold to the hand. So it wicks away all the heat from my hand, right? So this is pretty cool. Probably very, very, very expensive material to source out, but we have that also. And then the fourth part is gonna be the bus bar. And these bus bars are pretty crazy because uh, half of them are plated and then half of them are, I think, I think that they're plated with different materials. This is probably nickel plated and this is probably copper plated or something like that. So that's so that because the, the one of the anodes and the cathode are different materials, right? One is aluminum and then the other one is copper, plated copper. And so that's why you would need that in this. Now, let me show you how you would use these, all these materials to make up a pack. All right, so these frames are, it's one single part, right? There's no A and B or anything like that, but they, they nest into each other. They do have a side. See how two of these are nested and they don't have a gap in the middle here. And then they nest, to each other over here, but then they have a gap. So these are made to have two cells right up against each other and then separated by this separator, right? And then, and then have two more cells and then another separator and then two more cells and then a separator. So these are essentially made for a 2P configuration, two cells in parallel. And then these right here, uh, they can go on either side. They can go on this side or they can go right in between the cells, right? So you can use a single one of these ones to cool both cells. Or you can put, yeah, you can put one on every side. It doesn't matter. They just slide in there and then you can attach them. Then this bus bar right here, once you have the, uh, well, the terminals, the cell terminals coming in here, they just, it just goes right through the center terminals and then they're bent over. And then what they're, they're made to be welded, right? So with the laser welded, uh, welded the tabs into this material. And then, so the, these two cells right here would try conduct their energy to the next one. And then over there, six X back and forth, right? So these are the extra parts that we have and uh, you can buy them on our website. Uh, so you can build your packs, right? So we have them, like you can buy just the cells by themselves or you can buy the frames by themselves. You can buy these bus bars also by themselves. Uh, I think we're including this stuff with the frames but i think i might put it all everything separately just in case that some people don't want to use this and some people that want to use this maybe with another design i think we're, i'm just gonna list all this stuff so that you can mix and match whatever you want right so this whole system is made to make packs uh i know that some people it, it takes a lot, a lot of room right so this adds room and space and stuff so if you're trying to build a pack that is like super super compact is the most compact that you can you might want to do away with all this stuff and just use something else. You know, maybe just tape the, the, the cells together and then shrink wrap them and then have the thing. And I'm going to work on some designs so that we could, we could do that, right? Also, I'm going to work on a design to have, to be able to use these, all this system here, but on a, uh, a single, right? A, a one P. So a single cell in parallel 
so that we can have smaller packs. There's some applications that would require smaller packs. On the side of the uh, bus bars here, we are also making our own bus bars. See, this is just an aluminum one. And I think I'm gonna make a copper one. Um, this is designed so that you can just install it right in front here, and then you drive screws, self-tapping screws. It'll drill right through the cell tab and then drill right into this, this bus bar here, and then it'll sandwich the whole thing and then that's how you connect the one cell to the other cell without having to buy, you know, a very expensive laser machine, right? That it's pretty much at the uh, out of our the hands of most of us DIYers, right? So this is how we're gonna we're gonna do that. And I have two versions of them. You could replace the existing one, right? If if you bought the cells and you don't have these or we run out or something, so this is made also so you can use it here. And then you use a second one, put it in there, and then you just go right through. I will have some that have smaller holes and then some that have bigger holes so that you can put the, the, the one with the bigger holes on the top so then it, the, the screw doesn't grab onto it and it like really sandwiches that thing because that's what's going to be making the connection, right? So here's a module, for example, right? Here's a, a big, big module. Uh, these bus bars have these little things here that uh, allow you to connect a cable. You just push it in there and then it doesn't come out. That's that's pretty cool. So here's our bus bar. You would just put it in here. And you got to make sure that you don't touch anything else in this pack. And then you drive screws right there. Sandwich the whole thing. Now, the, the power gets transferred from this bus bar also, but also mainly from the bus bar on the bottom, right? And so, yeah, so you're going to be making... Uh, modules work like this you're gonna need some of these bus bars and we have them on order right now they're coming um and if if it's gonna be like a very high powered application probably maybe the copper one will be better because uh, remember these can do 500 amps bursts right so you have two cells here so this is potential right here it's a thousand a thousand amps and maybe what i'm gonna do for that one is maybe not make these slits right here because if you really think about it you know 500 amps tr gets transferred from here this side of the bus bar to this side of the bus bar but then also 500 from this side of the bus bar to this side of the bus bar and it's all going through these little slits right here because they ha you have this interrupted here so maybe the copper one that i'm gonna make i'm i'm gonna make it uh so it doesn't have those slits because you don't need those slits right those slits are just there um to bring the the tabs on uh, to the other side but if it's just going to be a topper like this then um these slits are not needed so i'm going to order those and if you're going to make a, a pack that is going to require a thousand amp bursts right you might want to go for it with the solid aluminum one uh, or copper one that i'm going to make uh to make these uh modules work so there you go. If you're looking into making packs, battery packs with these JP3 cells, just click on the link in the description of this video and uh, I will make a page that has all the stuff in there and all the, you know, all the different bus bars, the different configuration stuff are going to be there. Uh, and so good luck building packs out of these pretty amazing cells. By the way, don't forget to send us videos and pictures of your projects. A lot of the stuff leaves this warehouse here and we never get to see where it ends up because you guys are using it out there. Like every day there's, you know, 20, 30, 50 packages leave here uh, with batteries and stuff. And I know you guys are using them for stuff, but I, we never get to see it. So do share with us what your projects are so you can inspire us and you could also inspire other people, others that are building using these uh, products, right? Okay, thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.